Quizzing about the output of a piece of code is a practice I've seen multiple places. Sometimes it's part of a learning exercise. At times, it can be part of an interview. In this tutorial, we are going to look at a code snippet I saw in the Learn JavaScript subreddit. It is great for testing three pieces of JavaScript knowledge, which are an understanding of sets, the use of the rest spread operator, and the use of the reduce array method. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript. As always, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe, and remember to check out the discount links to all my courses in the description. I really appreciate the support. And if you would like, there are other ways to support the channel, which are linked to in the description as well. Now, if any of these concepts are new to you, specifically sets, the rest spread operator, or the reduce method, I would encourage you to view tutorials on those first. I've included links to all three. Also, this problem uses arrow functions. So if that is unfamiliar to you, I have a link to that as well. All right, now if you are ready, let me show you the problem. This is exactly how I saw the problem on the subreddit. Now take a look at that code and see if you can determine what will be displayed with the console log statement. What is going to be returned? The hint is it's a number. I don't know how big of a hint that is, but it's a number. So that can send you in the right direction. But if you'd like to try to figure this out on your own first, pause this video, go ahead and give it a try. See if you can figure it out. And then go ahead and restart when you're ready to walk through it with me. All right, so let's just walk through this code. Obviously, the first line here, we're setting up an array. And it has several numbers inside of it. That's all that's doing. Now, the next line right below that, a lot is going on. And so we need to talk about that line in a bit more detail. First thing we need to mention is that we're creating a set. We have the set constructor here with the new keyword. And we're creating a set out of this array, which you can do with sets. You pass in the array, and it will create a set out of it. Now, something that is important to remember or to know about sets in order to solve this problem is that a set does not allow duplicate elements or duplicate numbers in this case. So by creating a set out of this array, basically what it's going to do is remove any repeating numbers. You can see that we have a five listed three times, a four a couple times, a two twice. So those will only be once in the set. The duplicates will be removed. Now, once that set is created, we then have the rest or spread operator right here, the three dots. And basically what that is doing is that's converting the set back into an array. The way it's doing that is it's spreading out the values of that set. And then of course we have them inside of square brackets, which is how we define an array. And it's placing that in the array underscore set variable. So that is the variable that will reference this new array, which was created by converting this array to a set and then converting it back to array. So basically in the process, we removed the duplicates. The third line, we're now setting foo to the results of running the reduce method on this new array, array underscore set. Now the reduce method cycles through every element in the array. And it applies this callback function right here. It applies this callback function to each element. Now the callback function for reduce takes two parameters. One is the accumulator value and one is the new element passed in. Now initially the accumulator value will be set to zero. So we're adding basically zero to the first value of this new array two, for example. 
and then we return that accumulator value. Then it gets added to the next one. And so basically reduce is going to return a single value and place it in foo. Now what is that single value going to be? Well, if we remove all the duplicates and then add those up, which is basically what reduce is doing for us, we get 20. So 6, 11, those are all duplicates, 17, 20 with the 3 there. So that's 20. 20 gets placed in foo. Then the last thing we do is we add 20 to the length of this new array. And that happens to be 5. 2, 4, 5. Those are all duplicates. 6 and 3. That's 5 elements in the array. And so 20 plus 5 equals 25. So hopefully you got that same result. Now let's just look at the output really quick. Open up the console here and we get 25. Now a couple of things to learn from this code. This is a great way right here for removing duplicates from an array if you need that. You simply create a set from that array and then convert it back to an array immediately. That's what we're doing here. This is a pretty common application of reduce, probably the most common application where you're adding up the totals. But basically reduce is used to return one specific value from an array. And that's what we're doing here with reduce. So kind of a fun little exercise allows you to apply rest spread operator, how sets work, what sets do, the reduce method, and we're using an arrow function in the reduce method. All right, just a fun little exercise this time. So please hit the like button and subscribe. Remember the discount links of all my courses in the description section. And also click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week or almost every week. There are some weeks that I do miss. And thanks for watching.